what's up nobody uh so this will be a short update um i'm back on the horse i did my bench press tonight i'm doing 235 236 now my weights some of the weights are a little weird because i got them from play again sports but yeah I'm, I'm i'm doing the bench press i did my over an hour of the stomach freezing did some like shoulder work um haven't been available to clean up the garage, unfortunately, still, but at least I'm back on track with that. Um, I haven't weighed myself yet today, but I'm guessing I'm around 210, 208, somewhere. That's where I've been recently. So, um, uh, before I came out to lift, I started cooking some rice, and I'm going to go inside and cook up some... Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's basically like the... I call it like the Wonder Burger, Wonder Meat, Wonder Better, Better and Burger, whatever the, uh, you get it from Costco, it's like this vegan meat, it's gluten free, high protein, whatever, uh, but I'm going to cook up some of that and put it in some rice, and that's going to be my dinner. Um, today, you know, we uh, called off work a little early because it was rainy, uh, made some phone calls, contacted a bunch of new employees, it, it's been a day been a busy day uh, that was actually a small part of my day but uh, it's it's interesting we're getting closer to the winter which is my favorite time of the year because I love I, I'm always so sweaty all the time that I love being cold I love the snow I love all that you know the the majesty of the snow so I'm excited I'm gonna be in a new area this winter um, it's gonna be very different for me a little outside of my comfort zone but it's it's, it's a big change. It's, it's, it's good for me professionally. It's good for me, you know, psychologically, emotionally, and all that. So, it's really good. Um, yeah, I still haven't taken my measurements, and I didn't do the elect electrical shock thing yet. I haven't started that yet, um, but hopefully I'll be starting that soon. I just, I have to... I have to figure out a way I can work that into my day-to-day -day schedule to where it's not an inconvenience and I can make it a habit. And that's that's one of the biggest things is all this stuff about getting healthy, getting fit, getting lean, whatever. It's The consistency part is the biggest factor. So making it to where it can be a part of my day-to-day -day life, part of my routine, where I can make small changes and make habits that become an everyday normal thing. That's the biggest factor. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to do a weird thing that, you know, derails my entire day and then think that that's going to be the norm, right? I'm not going to do a thing that derails my entire uh, diet or my entire, you know, years of training, years of development. I'm not going to do anything that upsets all that and be like, okay, this is what I'm doing now. Like, that's where a lot of people fail. People that, you know, <clears throat> they'll spend years and they're drinking like two gallons of Dr. Pepper every day or something, you know, and they're like, oh, you know what? No more Dr. Pepper. I'm just done now. Well, you spent the last several years drinking that every day and a lot. So you're making a significant change. How are you going to sustain that? That's ridiculous, right? So small incremental changes that can build healthy habits that can consistently be observed, they lead to obtainable goals. You know, you have to do it smart. You have to build healthy habits that you can sustain consistently long term. It's not about a diet. It's not about a program. It's not about any of that. It's about, you know, what can you do to live a healthier life consistently every day because your life isn't just you know that 20 minutes that you were doing spin class or some stupid crap it's not oh i did such a good job i didn't eat that candy bar today we're not gonna throw you a parade for not eating one candy bar like no it's about the millions of candy bars you don't eat for the next 20 years right like it's it's not about that one spin class it's about Oh, you did spin class every day for five years? Holy crap. Yes, I will throw you a parade myself. Right? I don't do spin class. Screw that. But. Oh, I ate a salad one time. 
Okay. Who cares? It didn't have... It had no net impact on your life, your health, anything. It had no impact. Right? That's, and that's, that's, that's the way I'm trying to approach everything now, is what has the biggest net impact on my life? So I'm trying to make small incremental changes that I can sustain. So when I make a slip up here and there, that's okay because I try to I try to look at okay where are all the things that I'm doing right, where are all the where are all the areas that I'm progressing and making positive changes consistently and making progress. So if you know, A, B, and C and D, I'm not failing. E and F, I stumble here and there, like making these videos, right? Yeah, they are a helpful tool for me, and they're they're encouraging me, and and the feedback I get from you guys is is encouraging me, and it's supportive, and I love it. But this is not the end all be all to my goals, right? This is a one tool in my toolbox. So the fact that I might misstep here and there with this, that's not derailing the entire program. It's not like object permanence for an infant where. I don't make a video for a couple of days, and that meant that I just completely fell off the track and, and was just eating donuts and cheeseburgers and fries for like two or three days straight. No, this is a tool, and even though this tool doesn't always work for me, there are other tools that I'm making sure I'm using appropriately. And this is just one more tool that helps me stay on track. So that's and this is me ranting to myself this isn't me ranting to anyone watching this this is me pep talking myself you know um I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna keep on track um <clears throat> my bench press i'm up to three or sorry not three jesus uh two 235 236 i, I said that earlier in the video but like i'm I, and i'm repping that so that's that's progress that's good um, I'm a little scared to see where my deadlift's going to be once I clear the space to actually get back into that, but it, it is what it is. I'll get it back. Um, I feel confident, and I feel like I'm, I'm doing pretty well in that department, so that's good. The family is healthy. Uh, you know, my wife is happy, so, you know, um... I'm talking to my friends, I'm talking to some family, so I'm doing, I'm doing my best to stay in a, in a, in a positive headspace, so, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you for checking in again, and I promise I'll do my best to keep posting these, and for those of you that actually check in, I really do appreciate it. So, uh, hopefully I'll have, like, you know some progress that I can show off, like, you know, my stomach being flatter or whatever, but whatever. That's my goal, not yours, so thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the support. Take care of yourselves out there. Take care of each other, and have a great night, and I love you.